All right, guys, so this should be the last video here. So I'm just actually going to um, go back to our image processor script and uncomment the stuff we had commented out that dealt with um, the Lambda function, so anything with the event here. So I'm just uncommenting this, and then uh, I had this um, test image on my local machine, so I'm going to comment that out. Um, and then everything else down here is good. We don't need these print statements anymore. Uh, this is fine. Uh, we actually want to change this back to S3 test now, or S3 key. So the reason I had that um, as a test string was because S3 key is coming from the AWS Lambda event. So when we were testing on our machine here, that didn't exist. So that's why I was using a test string. Um, that looks good. And then we just need to get rid of that. We don't need to call the function here. Um, so this looks good to me. Let's go back to the actual file here. And remember, we have to bring back all these uh, libraries here and then build the zip file, the package, I should say. So let's get rid of this old Python package. And then zip all this up except simple lambda and compress it that's because I forgot that temp folder there so let's just do that again all right go back to lambda and upload a zip file I'm just going to verify that these are correct image processor processor yep that didn't change all right looks good so let's give it a try so I'm going to upload an image and let's go to monitoring cloud watch all right there it is 41 42 Looks like it worked, right? So we see it printing the bucket, the key, the event, and then we see our insert statement. So we have the bucket, the key, the event, um, our insert query, and then record inserted successfully. So it's looking promising. It's looking like this worked. So let's double check PG admin. So we see we have three records here. When I refresh here, we should have one more. There it is. Awesome, so go to Pro. I'm going to just remove this and bring it back in. And you can see here there's two records, one over here, one over here. Cool, so it worked. Um, yeah, let's just let's insert another one. Um, All right, one more time, we'll go to CloudWatch, refresh this guy. In a couple seconds we should see a new record. There we go. Uh, so 43, here it is, 327. Go back to Pro, and there we, there we go, we have another record there. All right, guys, that's what I wanted to show you guys how to do. Um, I hope I didn't lose you guys. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, sorry about that that Postgres database mix-up. That was probably frustrating if you, if you were uh, following along there, but uh, stuff like that happens all the time. So just um, hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, 
yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments um, or any video suggestions. Um, I'm starting to get more into the Save WS Lambda, so I'm trying to see what I can do with GIS with Lambda. So um, I'm looking into possibly getting GDAL and OGR, uh, those packages um, deployed in Lambda uh, and, st and stuff like that. So, um, yep, thanks for watching.